Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the featherweight championship of the world. David Mejia and Petpatamroon Kiapmukau. Specialist barely gets hit, a master of distance control. Championship bounce. Let's meet the challenger. He is a 2022 Grand Prix champion who arrives here in Burgas on a four fight winning streak. As a professional, 61 wins with 15 losses, 18 of those wins coming by way of knockout. At 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at 143.3 pounds and even 65 kilograms. He fights tonight out of Spain by way of the United Kingdom. Here is David Hurricane Mahia. Here now is his opponent fighting from the white corner. His 12-fight unbeaten streak in the lightweight division dates all the way back to 2017. He will make his seventh defense of the belt tonight. His professional record impressive, 168 wins, 39 losses, three draws, and 27 career knockouts. At five feet, seven inches tall, 1.71 meters, he weighed in at 142.4 pounds, 64.6 kilos. Fighting out of the Buriram province of Thailand. He is the reigning and defending featherweight champion of the world. He is Pet Panamroon Kit And the referee in charge of this championship bout is Yusuf Akni. Okay, fighters, you both know the rules. I want to clear in a fair fight. Obey my commands at all time and protect yourself at all time, okay? Okay, touch gloves. Take a step back. Judges. Time. Fight! Here we go. Our main event of the evening. Featherweight Championship on the line as Petch Panamaroon, Petch in the white gloves, and David Mejia in the black. I really wanted to see what Mejia could do that Petch didn't see it till now. Like we said, he has like 210 fights, but it's crazy. And we see Mejia really throwing that body kick back at Petch. Really not stopping throwing, I love it. But we've seen Petch develop with his changing levels with that kick. Kicking the inside leg and then he mixes the head. That's been some of his best knockouts that we've seen in glory with those left head kicks. I'm more impressed when I see Petch how he fights. He works like enough. Everything he does is just so good and so easy to him that it's just a pleasure to watch. Yep, and you can see how fast he chops those legs with that left kick. Yeah, his left kick is, is one of the best in the game, if not the best. Yep, and as soon as Mahia steps forward, Petch has knees waiting for him. And he's only getting better and better. And he's not old. He, I feel like he's 100 years old, but he's only 28. <laughs> yeah. He looks really young, too. As he smiles, as he hits the canvas with a hey! slip. Yeah. Petch has fun in there. When you see him and he's relaxed, he's always smiling, he's enjoying it. I wonder if he even gets 
nervous after that any fights yeah <laughs> it, it looks like it's another he went up just to drink coffee for him like hey okay i will do everything <laughs> I, I, know I was gonna say antonio just before we're talking there mahia's hands are dropping for that body kick slightly then Petch quickly snuck that left head kick up mahia's got to be careful Petch is really gunning for that left head kick well, from that boxing yeah. that mejia was talking we are not really seeing it today we just seen patchwork and he also throws the, the right leg i mean in theory when you watch patch it seems easy all you got to do is step in and box with them yes but when you know your distance management is perfect in and out look at that defense barely gets hit blocks well yeah. in theory also science look easy you just calculate but i'm not a scientist <laughs> Those head kicks are getting close from Petch as he uses that left hand. Those, every time he loads up that left leg, I hold my breath. And, uh, you can see also the left knee, how sharp it is to the body. Just under the elbows too. Yeah. Well placed, good timing. The Thai fighters are, in my opinion, one of the best fighting, like culture or everything in the world. There are so many monsters in Thailand and from Thailand that that is like impossible for one, one small country with small people, they beat it up everybody, doesn't matter, weight class, nothing. I know we were talking throughout this week, we haven't even been to Thailand yet, that's a trip we got to make one day. We got the Professor Pench from Thailand, but now Antonio, a fun fact for you, he lives in Canada, so he's basically another Canadian champion I'm adding to the list. He's uh, teaching and coaching with Adrian Shee at the Muay Thai Academy. So his English is actually getting really good too. Maybe if he wins, the interview's in English. Oh, I hope so. Finally, he'll him speak some English. <laughs> we have David Mejia, the Hurricane, signature strikes the punches. He's got to really open up with his boxing today. What does he have to do, Antonio? I don't know. I hope to see a little bit more about those books because if he's going to go kick for kick with Petch, I don't think that's the best strategy because he's not the first guy that's, going, that's trying to use that. So if he's just going to go with that, it's not going to be a fun night for him. Here we go, round two. And here with nothing to lose. And really he's taking up the opportunity. I love the way that Thai fighters move with the this little is bounce. Surprising here, Antonio. Two of the fight. judges giving it to Mahia. I Three to fight. Petch. I don't know what they were watching, but for me, it was clearly a Petch round. Yeah, I agree with you. With all the small things. Ooh, high kick. Mahia slipped up his head kick there. Yeah. Mahia is starting to open up much more and do some damage to Petch. Break! Break, break, break! Step back. Maybe it looked like it was going to be an easy fight, but for now, Mejia is starting to wake up a bit and do, do something. Yeah, Mejia is countering back, chopping away the legs of Petch very well, break. mixing his hands and kicks. Back, back. Not a bad start for the Hurricane. Yeah, he started, he put it in a gear second. And that was a good time break. to get to the lead. Step back, step back. The clinching is starting to pick up a little bit here in that second round. Break! Break! And you can also see that Mejia is not so in inexperienced in the clinch. He also knows what he's doing. Yeah, you see his hands yeah. changing his clinch. Break! Or now when he goes to the rope, he with the high guard, with the knees up already for a kick. Break! Watch the elbow when you make the back fist. He needs to set some of those spinning attacks up. Petch going back to that left kick. I don't understand how Petch doesn't break his leg from that break. much throwing of the leg. It's crazy. He just throw it like it's not his leg. <laughs> he maybe throws more kicks in one round than you had in your whole glory career. Yeah, uh, probably. <laughs> break, uh, break, step back. I mean, we need to go to Thailand to work a little bit on the kicks and knees. <laughs> and ooh wee. Yes, yeah, good timing from that front kick. There's Mahia stepping in with a big Break. right hand. Break! Active clinching. Fight! Break. It's almost the opposite for you and Petch, Antonio. Your punches 
is what <laughs> Petch throws in his kick. Break, break, yeah, don't turn around. The opposite. Kick, 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 and control everything. I love the small thing he does. Like when you kick and block, he just turn his leg and push you. Boom. Yeah. yeah, it's very nice to see. One of my favorite things from Petch is how he uses that push and then he gallops break. into the head kick. Yeah. Okay. That is best knockouts came from that. And for the viewers, that that is not an easy thing to do, especially in the fight. Break. Ooh, nice no knee from Petch. Yeah, I like that knee Step in the back. clinch, but I'm not liking all the clinches that are happening. Better round for David Mahia, I would say. Yeah, he opened around good with a good high kick. I didn't expect that, but he started to do some damage and wake up a bit. But I'm still waiting to see some of his boxing. You can watch Glory events 24-7 on Glory's new fast channels. Visit glorykickboxing.com for more information. the judges have to say about the second round yeah now that's what break, i'm kind of curious break, about as we thought pet should have won that full out but round two all patch on the judges yeah now it's clearly pitch three out of the five oh they go up kick, 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 kick for kick well, he is putting up a good fight break. Yeah. Back, back, back. he's not back backing down on anything he just throws whatever he throws throw back the same at him break the only thing patch is a little bit more precise and a little bit better timing yep i really want to see patch mix levels with those kicks again go back to the leg then slide it upstairs again but mahia doing a good job at shutting those kicks down that double kick from patch that's no, a no, no, no. Ooh -wee. yeah there you go I know you, you can see the marking of such toes on his body already. Ooh. Now the double kick. The first one was leg body. Now he went body head with that double kick. But it's fast. It's effective. Yeah, it's, that's experience. It's amazing even to think about it. Bro came from Thailand in glory, threw the left kick and beat, beat everybody. Nobody in the world have answer from that. Yep. And he's still just been so dominant. We've seen him. Yeah. A lot of dominant Break. champions with Sidichai and now Petch taking over. Yeah, good try Break. for the jump. Step back. No there was a little the break. gap left for him to really connect. Don't push, don't push. Petch bringing the pressure now, needs to cut the ring off. Break. Step back. Step back, step back. I wonder what Mejia at corner is telling him. He just transitioned a southpaw here. Yeah, and he Don't turn he around. Was, break! He started Don't to try break. a lot of Don't jumping around, techniques please. and crazy Fight. techniques. I almost do think going southpaw against Petch would be a good strategy. Yeah. Gives him a different angle, a let's, you know, Mejia Don't push. low yeah. kicks off of the Fight. lead leg of Petch, yeah. which probably doesn't get hit often. Don't yeah. push. Fight! But I feel with Petch, you just got to do something different. Yeah. If you just stay here and do the same thing, you're not going to win. Yeah, you need to pressure him, really pressure him, make him break, work. Break, step back, counter step back. every single time, whatever he throws. Yeah, but when you overpressure, Petch is so good, break, he just kind of knows how to nullify yeah. you inside. Takes you, clinch you, you get the knee, push, break, little high step kick. Take some back. Then you are watching from ground. Break! Another great round for Petch, in my opinion. Yep, I feel like he's continuing now to do what he's doing. He's keeping that high pace, but 
Well, he is matching it. Maybe not getting the better of the shots, but he's definitely matching the pace. He's really doing doing a good fight. I wonder what his coaches will say to him to do. Maybe change to Southpaw is really the answer to catch the patch. This pace, this high level fight. Yeah. yeah, for him, it's nothing like a warm up. <laughs> All right, here we go as we enter our fourth round here in the championship rounds. The most important ones now for David Mejia. He's got Break, work to do back. as four to the five judges gave that round to Petch. Break, 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 break. As one judge has Mahia up. Break, break. Mahia is starting to get more pressure, but just like you said, but just modifies it. Grabs him, clinch him, move him. Yep, that's that distance of management we keep talking break. about. No extra, no extra. He just master at controlling the outside distance and on the inside. Yeah, he is. I like that self-call work. Break, break, break. I keep saying it, but Don't turn I think it's a good strategy for him. Yeah, yeah but you got a lot less space to throw that leg up. Break. Step back. And even if you nullify that leg even by a little bit, and you also get a different angle to throw your backhand. Petr going to the strikes, the more accurate fighter. Landing more of his strikes, very precise with those kicks. Break. And always the controversy, Antonio. I don't know what you think about it, but there's always been controversy when you fight Thai fighters with the arm kicks. How do you block a body kick with your Break. arms, right? Yes, yes. So do you, if, are you scoring those power kicks off the arms? Uh, I'm, I'm not scoring it in my head, but the problem is that you cannot go kick for kick Break. for the ties because they did it for such a long time that you're just missing time, missing training for that. So I think you should just counter every single one with bigger boxing combination, like uh, what Kalina needed to do against Stoyan. Just come in with a little bit more boxing, then finish with like surprise him with something because just going kick for kick with any tie, it's not a smart move. Yeah, I think the damage of the arm kick matters. So look at the bruising on the forearms and, and the triceps of Mahia. Yeah, even if you block it all the time, it's still that damage. It builds up, right? Yeah, it's a block, but it still hurts. And it would not be the first time for forearm to break. break. I, mean, yeah. I am the one to to <laughs> know the live. Yeah, I know so. We've had some great fights here in Bulgaria so far, Antonio. I think outside of. I think four out of the five Bulgarians won tonight. Yeah. Break, break, break. I'm really impressed with Bulgarians. They all do, even with Romanians, they all do like crazy fight. All went to the all out war. I mean, great card so far in this main event. Very technical one. Break, yeah. step back. Petch is putting that left kick clinic again. Yeah, he's just smiling, going back to the corner. Yeah, I beat you up. I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if he's happy. He's always happy. He's always smiling. We have one more run to go. For now, Mejia don't have any answer for Petch. I wonder will something happen, maybe crazy aggression or something in the last round to go put all or nothing type of key, type of thing, but. For now, it's all patch. Another easy homework for him. Antonio, you've been sitting together all night here together. This is your first time. Did you take anything from commentating tonight? Yeah. What did you learn here from this position that might help you in the ring? What do you think? Uh, I look to now the fight's a little bit different also. Nice. And you get to see some things that you don't see when you sit somewhere else. 
and analyzing, analyzing the fight for Ooh. Now, break, is really break, going break, break, break. now you know break, maybe break. when you're fighting to come closer to the commentary booth and hear my commentary might help you out. Yeah. If you can't hear Big Mike, you might as well come close to the break, booth. Break, yeah. step back, step back. Now, and I, I, I appreciate much more the production work and all that's yeah. put behind that. Break, 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 break. That was the first step thing back. that I picked yeah. up. Step back, the moving step back. parts around yeah. this amazing organization. Yeah. It's not an easy job. Appreciate that. Yeah. People think my job's easy. Think. You gotta tell everybody now. It's no, tough. It's no. hard. Yeah, it's tough. It's hard. <laughs> but fun. Yeah. You it's get the, the best dream job. Come on. Let's it's a dream job. Around. You get the best seats in the house for the best organization and just enjoy it. All right. Well, we got about two minutes and ten seconds left from a beautiful event here in Bulgaria, which I kind of hope Break. you come back. This morning I was at the beach. And here I am at night watching one of the best fighters in the world play, play, go play, for play. a decision win. Come back, come back. Yeah, and he has started a bit more aggressive and started to do more, but I don't think it will be enough play. in this one minute, 40 Only seconds play. to no catch Patch no unprepared. Yeah, I don't even really think I could remember a time Patch has been hurt play. in the fight. Yeah, he's just all step playing back, for back, him. Or, or at least it looks like that. And fight, like you fight. said, I really hope next year we are back in Bulgaria. I'm really pumped for the Bulgarian uh, talents and the people. And also the Romanian ones. Step they back. have some amazing fighters. Keep it in. Yep, great fight. event, great people. A lot of buzz here tonight. And the way they cheered on even all the fights have been spectacular. Break, break, man. Yeah, very nice atmosphere to watch the fights. Really enjoy it. Break. Step back. One minute left here in our main event. Break! Mm. As Petch looks to kind of ride it out. But Mahia needs to do something. Yes. He's coming. He's putting a mead mug on. Break! Step back, step back. Yeah, step back. But Petch ties him up. Yeah, Mahia is trying, but like you said, Petch is so good at neutralizing you when you come Break. in with the knees, step back, step back. push kicks. It's always something. And then you go out, it's kicking immediately like this. Break, 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 break. One X. Back. I don't even know did he get hit to the head once in a fight. Yeah, with that high kick. That's yeah. it. Just quickly there, unexpected, yeah. but he just nullifies the boxing so well. Bruise him a bit and like, yeah, good fight. I think the only thing that's left for Pitch is break, that motivation. Break, How more will he be motivated to fight to the top level? Yeah, we've seen him break, try to move back. up in weight to fight Tijani Vistadi. Step, step back. Yeah, he and was unsuccessful there, but the size difference. And Tijani yeah. was just way too big for Petch. Yeah. Tijani is really way too big either way. Not just for Petch, he's just a big, big guy for that category. And that Petch category, so... Well, we had a nice performance here as we see a big smile on Petch's face. And David Mejia climbs the ropes with his hands up. To go five round with Petch, I know he wants to win, but... Five rounds with Petch is still an accomplishment. Yeah. I think we're going to see another easy Petch win. All right, well, we're going to have to wait a few more moments for the official decision is next. His reign over the division now dates back to April of 2013. It's the king! The king still reigns supreme! You guys look beautiful! Undisputed! What a stunner! A pain out! Dominic Misa has his dream come true! We welcome you back to our main event here at Glory 89 as the champ Petch takes on Spain's David Mahia. Uh, we see this the Petch dominance. Mahia trying to go kick for kick for kick for kick with him, but I don't think that's a very good idea to do with Petch. And 
I don't think he will get the win that way. We have the open scores when from them Patch won the fight. But uh, Mejia is trying in the five, round fifth. He tried a little bit more, tried to go with pressure and everything. But Patch is so good in nullifying your boxing and coming inside that it's scary. Yeah, I mean, you're going to see from the strike counts that obviously that Patch loved those left kicks. Yeah, Patch loved left kicks and he just threw them. I don't know how his legs doesn't break after that much left kicks. You can see his dominance also in knees. 24 knees thrown to the eighth knees and the accuracy about how much patch hits he hits almost everything he throws and that's the scary part he oh here is a strike by the zone you can see the body from that kick of the patch just coming and slamming you all fight long and yeah i was wrong he did get something to his head but it was only 23 from 180 drugs so only 19 percent that just shows you how good he is at nullifying the coming inside, try to box him or do anything you want to do to him that the, he doesn't want you to do. Patch is a true monster. Ladies and gentlemen, after five championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Let's now take a look at the totals. One judge scores it 49 46. Kiat Mukau. One judge has it 49 46. Mahia. The final scores 48 47. And two of our judges score it 50 45. All for your winner by split decision. And still, featherweight champion of the world, Pat Adam Rose. Here to present the glory belt, our head of talent operations, Robbie Timmers. All right, I'm here with your winner. I'm here with your winner, Petch. You have fought all over the world. How was it here fighting in Bulgaria? Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm glad to come here. I'm glad to to win. Um, thank you, my fan in Bulgaria and in Thailand and around the world. Thank you so much. David Mahia, we didn't know much about him. Was anything surprising you in this fight? David Mahia, David, he said David came in well prepared for this fight. He had a good game plan, made the fight like tough for Petch to like work out his movement and stuff, and uh, he's just happy to get the win. I saw you made a face when you heard it was a split decision. Were you worried there for a second? He said for a split second, but then like, he, he knew in himself he's confident that he, he won. All right, well, Bulgaria, let's hear it for our champ, Petch Penmarung. Crazy to patch this all looks like only a workout. He's simply that amazing. The way he was able to go in there and speak a little bit of English, he's getting yeah, better living we're in Canada. Finally starting to see the first word from Patch, and I'm really happy about it. Yep, I mean great performance, calm, relaxed. Learning English, learning a box. Yeah, he's and still learning every day. It was in life. a great workout for him to try his movement. That's, <laughs> that's like the conclusion of fight. Yeah, a good workout. Yeah.